I'm to that point where I gotta pull the beloved Home Depot soon box. Uh, it's a sad day. But anyway, I'm gonna pull this out and uh, take all the junk out of here. And there's a crossbar going ac across from the mount that holds the DC DC and the charger, so I need to cut that little brace out. And that brace really was just to support the bottom of the box, so I don't really I don't really need it. So time to let this go. There's definitely some mice that got in here. I think they were using this for a house or something. <sighs> Lovely. Skeeter. One second. Uh. Alright. Wow. Oh, that's weird. Thing stinks like soap. I put soap in there because apparently that makes mice and rats go away, but no, I think they ate it and liked it instead. Oh well. Alright, well, you can kind of see the area I'm working with here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. That, that's that crossbar. So I have these cool little little rack things. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. Mm. Uh, I might keep them. I don't know. So if I keep them, then I can hang in intake or whatever I want off them. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Anyway, I think I'm going to ditch this one for sure. There is some wiring in here that I got to probably reroute. I don't even know what the heck this thing is. Mm. Yep. I don't know. I made it all. Don't remember any of it. All right. Well, yep. I could use the stock motor mounts to mount the Kubota. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Well, with the measuring tape here, the width of this is 16 inches by uh, 21 inches long-ish. That's just the engine, not the uh, generator part. And then. I believe it was 20, yeah, well, 28 and a half from the bottom of the oil pan to the top of this uh, radiator cap. And so I need to go look at the truck and see if that's going to fit or how that's going to fit. I hope it would fit. So I'm going to go check that. All right, so. The depth of this to about here-ish, I'm going to go, well, okay, to about here-ish, 27. If you remember, we were at 21. So, roughly here. And again, that's just the engine, so I'm going to say 23-ish, something like that. Um, it's about there. And now, the depth of the engine is 20 nine and this is the engine with the radiator and so if you look here it's above here by a lot that's okay um i can move that radiator down i think i'm gonna have to at this point i believe um 20 let's see i have a sway bar here oh well i'm way under over here so this hood does slope down, so uh, in that higher part is at the front, so I think I'm gonna have to probably lower or relocate the radiator, which that's completely fine. I don't really care about that. Um, my main concern is getting the engine as low as I possibly can, you know, for center of gravity. So if I can get that engine way down low, then that'll help with CG. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. And I'm not too concerned about stuffing it too far back in there uh, because the front of this thing just, it does need weight. So 
Uh, the more weight I can get up front, the better, because this thing is really tail heavy right now. And when you put a trailer on the thing, it it gets weird. So, uh, and you know, this truck's going to be do, doing a lot more of that, I think. So, I'd rather get more weight farther forward on the thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that bar out and grab the engine. I'm going to pull the radiator off of it. And I think I'll put the generator on it and try to shoehorn it in here and just see kind of generally where, where it wants to sit. And then the radiator will be last, so I'll make that work later on. But right now, that's what I'm going to do first. Well, today's over because my uh, trusty cherry picker decided to quit uh, right about there so that's okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the truck into the shop I'm gonna take out I have a airplane fuselage in there uh, I'm gonna pull that out because I have a gantry and a chain fall in there so what I'm planning to do is pull the hood off the truck and uh, drive it in there and then have this ready to go up on the chain fall and I should be able to get this straight down into the engine bay and while I was at it I didn't get it on camera but oh well I pulled off the radiator and the fan and man I gotta tell you that radiator and fan has to weigh like 50 some odd pounds it is heavy and when I weighed it initially I weighed it with that and the flywheel and all that stuff, and it was right at 300 pounds, 315, I can't remember, right around 300. Um, taking just that off, I lost probably 50 pounds, which is good. But anyway, um, you know, it is a goal to try to get this light as possible, but I still do need that weight up front. So with that being said, today's over, I'm going to clean up and uh, come back at it tomorrow, so. It's kind of sitting in there right now. Uh, I have it mounted, well, not mounted, but it's just kind of sitting where I thought would be a good spot-ish. Uh, earlier, I was trying to shoehorn it in to the tunnel more, but I think uh, I think I still want to do that because what I need to do to make that happen is cut this part of the the motor, this little tab here and cut this water fitting right here uh, off to where I can get it to shoehorn more in there. And I think what I'll want to do is put a little angle into it, you know, like a regular engine is anyway, just to get that much more clearance in the bell housing area back there. So um, I'm gonna try that, see if I can get this thing to fit better. that is definitely where I wanted this thing it's wedged way in there down low and uh, gives me a ton of clearance for stuff so you can see I have eh, roughly about 10 inches of room here to get the radiator in I think I can keep the stock fan now that it's so low in there might be able to keep the stock mount, I don't know yet. I'll have to take a look. But 
that's about what it's going to look like. So it is way in there, which is really cool. And then also, you can see that cross member um, that's laying down there. You can kind of see where the pan is going to be sitting just below that cross member. And there's two options I can do. I can either remake the pan uh, to clear that cross member, or I can just make a new cross member. And I think I'm going to go for the cross member because that's a heck of a lot easier than reshaping a pan. So, and yeah, it is way in there. I'm pretty stoked. There's a ton of room in this thing now that I've got it wedged in there like that. Okay, well, that about wraps it up for uh, this past couple weeks. And I'm, I'm doing every other week now for these videos because I feel like I'm just not getting a whole lot done uh, every week. So I figured I'd do every other week. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish mounting that this uh, these next following weeks here. Get that cross member made and get the motor mounts put uh, made and put in there. Um, and then I'll do the final installation on the motor itself and the generator. So that means I need to get back, finish the flywheel, set up with the splines and everything to drive the, the generator. And then after that, I can paint it all up, make it pretty, and bolt it in there for the final time. And one thing I want to find out is how does this drive with the engine weight up here? Um, I've been really curious about that. And one thing I have to do is take out the sway bar uh, because the where it goes underneath the engine here, it, it would go right through it. I mean, right through the right through the center of the oil pan. Um, so I'm just gonna ditch it. I've driven without it before on these trucks, and they're they're fine. Um, so anyway, that's it for these weeks. This these uh, next two weeks, um, and uh, until then. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, we'll catch up on the next one. All right, bye.